All right, guys, 2005 uh, Buick LaCrosse. Uh, the car was uh, brought into me in failsafe. Uh, hooked my uh, modus up to it, and uh, I got uh, one code P0753 shift solenoid A circuit. Uh, I ran some tests, and I did find the problem was inside the unit uh, had almost probably two amps of current flowing through shift solenoid A when it should only be probably 0 0.3, 0 0.4 amps flowing through the solenoid. So we got the side cover down. I took both shift solenoids A and B out. And uh, this is what I found. Uh, first, this is uh, solenoid B. Um, this is in pretty good shape. The windings are good. Uh, everything looks good with this solenoid. Okay, and this one here is solenoid A. You can see the windings are all burnt up. When you turn the solenoid over, the solenoid got very hot. Uh, the plastic is all melted. The windings are all burnt up. Uh, so we're going to install two new shift solenoids and after the solenoids are installed we're gonna I'm gonna hook up uh, my train X machine and just double check uh, the integrity of the new solenoids and the internal harness to make sure the correct amperage uh, is present so we're gonna be right back we're gonna get a set up the camera over by the car all right guys here's a shot of the trans with the uh, uh, side cover off um, right over here uh, and this location is uh, solenoid B and right over here right on top where the harness is right behind this harness is uh, going to be solenoid A okay and uh, just to give you a little rundown um, this one here is the EPC uh, the one under here is the lockup uh, this is the input speed sensor and this here is like the um, uh, like a mini manifold also I believe it's uh, used for TCC release all right and this of course is the pump valve body channel plate uh, so we're gonna install these solenoids Okay, here is A, uh, I'm sorry, this is B. Okay, <clears throat> give it a push. We got the clip. Okay, clip is in. And then we're gonna plug the solenoid in. All right, so that was solenoid B. And now we're gonna put in solenoid A. Alright, this solenoid A, there's a valve, I believe, behind this. Okay. Alright, so this tab, you know, goes in the slot so the solenoid won't turn or anything and it's incorrectly installed correctly. Okay. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera, but I know it's tough to see. Okay. All right, so that's in place. Let me put the clip in. Okay, clip is in, solenoid is in. And that's plugged in, okay. So the two solenoids are in. Now what I want to do is just hook up my machine, and uh, I have the cable on here already. This is my uh, Tranex cable, and uh, we're going to check the integrity of uh, the internal harness and of the two uh, shift solenoids with the Tranex machine. So I'm going to pause it for a second, hook everything up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the uh, Tranex machine hooked up, and I'm kind of standing behind the camera, and I'm uh, holding a paper in front. Um, but, okay, as you can see here, solenoid A, solenoid B, uh, amps hot and cold is 0.6 to 0.3, so that's what we're looking for when we turn our machine on. And I got it hooked up, and for this particular code, a 4T65E, we're going to use code 078 on the, uh, on the machine. So let's boot the uh, machine up. This is the... Uh, the Tranex machine. Beep. 
Okay, then what we do is put in the certain code we need. Okay, so it was code 078, so we hit zero. Whoops, we gotta clear that. Clear it. We hit zero, seven, eight, enter. Okay, so now it knows we're on a 4T65E. And then we're gonna go to gear. Here we have a gear or a solenoid. We're gonna hit it up for one. And see now we have 0.5 amps of, uh, of current when yesterday with that solenoid we had about 1.9, 2.1. And just to compare the two, here's number two. We also have the same. So we know that that is good. And then if we look at the paper, let's see, uh, we'll go to channel six. Let's just go up here. That's the lockup. And we got amp some amperage there as the solenoid works. And then we'll go up to eight. And we have amperage there as the solenoid works. And we can always bring it down and it's used solenoid uh, amperage changes. So this looks like it's gonna be good. We'll go back. Okay, there's two. I don't know if you can hear the solenoid clicking in the camera, uh, the sound of the camera, but maybe you can listen, I'll click it. And, uh, and that's really about it for this one. Uh, again, I'm gonna wait for the guys to come in. They'll put the side cover on and this one is a fix, uh, 2005 Buick LaCrosse 4T65E P0753 shift solenoid A circuit. We found the solenoid to be shorted. All right, thanks guys, and uh, 